Good morning, everyone. This is Hope Maddox. How is everybody doing? Hopefully, all's well. And we're just thanking God for another beautiful Tuesday morning. So last week, I started this little talk about if just being good was enough to take us to heaven. And as I sat during the past week, it came to me also that everyone's concept of being good differs. Someone, for example, may kill another and thinks that that was justified. So in his or her mind, he's saying, I did good for that person. That's why, folks, there has to be standards from God about how we can and will enter into his kingdom, which is in heaven. So we touch on God's evaluation of or truth and kindness. So let's continue today. God will evaluate us according to his accumulated wrath as seen in Romans 2, 5. See, hardening of arteries can lead us to an early grave, but hardening of the heart spiritually will take us ultimately to the lake of fire. Listen to me, folks. If God's mercy and kindness doesn't lead us to to repent, then every day, moment by moment, minute by minute, we are storing up terrible treasures of God's wrath, which will manifest on that great day. So let us make sure that our judgment for eternity is in direct proportion to the amount of kindness God has given to us, to which we ignored as coming from him. Folks, do not forget to thank him for his goodness and for everything. Next, what about our deeds? We humans may be thinking God may judge us by putting our good deeds beside the bad ones or the not so bad ones. And then they might even think that he may compare these to the deeds of others. Thank God that's not the case. See? God will take the best of our works and compare them with Jesus' deeds. When Jesus came to earth, healed the sick, the lame folks, opened the eyes of the blind, etc., he actually took on the sins of the entire world. And by his death and sacrifice, he brought salvation to those who commit to him as Savior and Lord. Praise the Lord. We in our right mind certainly would not want to be judged on our words and our works. We would need a lot of mercy, folks. Finally, for today, God is going to evaluate us without any kind of favoritism. In his eyes, no matter what earthly positions or achievements we have, doesn't affect how he sees us. He offers salvation freely to everyone. In his eyes, no one is better than the other. And read Romans 2.11. I love Isaiah 28.21 that says, God doesn't like to judge. He says judgment is his strange work. But nevertheless, folks, he will judge. Confirm this in Romans 8.32. He who spared not his own son, but delivered him up, will certainly not hesitate to judge those who reject his free offer of grace in Jesus Christ. Wow. Paul is not holding anything back from us, guys. He's telling us as it is. We should thank him very much. Yes, we will complete this next week. Let us pray. Oh, Father, thank you again for yet another day to be in your presence. We continue to give you thanks in all circumstances. Thank you, Jesus, because this is your will in Christ. Jesus for us. Lord, today I beg to renew our minds with peace and love as Christ abides in us. Father, I beg for complete surrender to you. I ask for healing, strength, patience, and love. God, continue to lead us in the path of righteousness. I want to see your face one day, God, face to face without condemnation. I strive to follow your light and path as best as possible, dear Father. I speak, Lord, on behalf of all those who are listening this morning and who will listen to my prayers of supplication. 
be with us now and forever. Amen and amen. We're going to be riding on that glorious train on our way to meet our God. So let us continue 
to prepare ourselves for that judgment day. Have a wonderful day, my friends. God bless you. We'll talk to you again next week. Love you much. Bye.